So tell us about this. This is one of your favorites to bring along on a road trip. And and my favorite thing about it is I customize it whenever for any season, forever, whatever kind of taste you have at that particular sure. time. The base is honey, maple syrup, peanut butter. Okay. And then whatever else you throw in there, you can try any cereal you want. You could throw M&Ms in there. You could throw chocolate chips in there. You could throw any kind of fruit, um, any kind of nuts. But the, the basis behind it is you're putting protein and whole grains in your body. So it takes your body longer to digest. So you're getting more energy out of it for a longer time period. So when you're driving, you can eat a few of these. It's going to last you a lot longer than every time you got to stop for gas. I love it. I love it. Okay, so uh, again, this is going to be the kind of the binder that's uh, going to hold these bars together. So we're starting out with some peanut butter. Yep, a third of a cup of peanut butter. Just, does it matter whether you use smooth or crunchy? No. Does it not really matter. does not matter. What about, will natural peanut butter work for this? Natural peanut butter is a fantastic option. Okay. Because um, usually it has a little bit more protein to it anyway. Okay. So we've got peanut butter in here. This is um, maple syrup, maple pure syrup. maple syrup. Okay. And you don't have to do the maple syrup. You can just do straight honey. You can use agave syrup. You can use corn syrup. You can use a combination thereof. Okay. Um, but pretty much you need a half a cup split or together with your third of a cup of peanut butter. So we add a quarter cup of the maple syrup there and we'll add half of that in for the honey. So of course it's a quarter cup of honey. So we're gonna right. get a little bit of the maple flavor, but you, as Ken said, you could just do a half a cup of straight up honey instead. Right, so, okay. exactly. And that again, that's what's so neat about this particular recipe is you can do whatever you want. Now I really like the, the Kashi cereal and this is heart to heart. So it's, it's a whole grain Cheerio. Um, and it's just, it's one of those cereals that's just really, really tasty and it gives you a lot of energy. So we're gonna do three cups as a recipe. Okay. And if we're doing it for the kiddos anyway, they're, with the peanut butter and all this other stuff, you might as well get a healthy cereal because they're not gonna really know the difference. They're not know? gonna know the difference, yeah. you know, because it's gonna be sweet and mm -hmm. that's all they're caring about mm -hmm. is yeah, <laughs> that exactly. it's sweet. And like you say, uh, you know, this one's gonna keep you going, gonna give you a lot more energy with this whole grain. Right, so. and, and I like pumpkin seeds. So this particular mix of nuts has got sunflower seeds and cashews and peanuts and pumpkin seeds and raisins. And then I love sun-dried cherries. I do too, ooh, um, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix these into here. We're going to put our sun-dried cherries in there. And again, like I said, you can adapt this any way you want. So you could use Rice Krispies, you could use regular Cheerios. Uh, you could you use know. a granola cereal that you like. Okay. Um, you could throw in some yogurt-covered raisins. How about uh, chocolate chips? <laughs> chocolate chips. That was the first thing I thought, <laughs> with the peanut butter. So this gets drizzled over the top. Right. And then we'll just mix this together. And, and the thing is, is you only have to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Okay. And then when you bring it out of the oven and you put it in the fridge, or you can put it in the freezer. If you're in a hurry, throw it in the freezer for about an hour. Okay. If not, just put it in the fridge. Make this the day before you go. Okay. And this will be our binder to hold everything together. So it's going to make a nice big pan of these. Mm-hmm. And what I like to do is I like to use either a wax paper or a parchment paper. And then I spray it with just a non-flavored pan spray. Mm -hmm. Because it can be, a, you know, if you've made Rice Krispie treats, you know what a pain that can be to clean the pan and get them out of the pan. So well, and that's the, that. that's the trick is when you're trying to get them out of the pan. So I've got this here, and I'm just going to pour this mix in. While you're doing that, I'm going to talk about some of the menu items uh, for restaurant week at your restaurant. Dozens of different restaurants in the Green Bay area are participating, um, also in Algoma. Uh, basically, um, they're opening up their doors for lunch, three-course lunches and three-course dinners at a really, really great price, an opportunity to get into some of these restaurants and try some restaurants you've always wanted to try. Uh, we were drooling at the, the menu at the River Room at the Clarion, beautiful um, setting for that dining room. Uh, Ken's going to do his bacon mac and cheese, yum. <laughs> um, potato crusted walleye, double yum. Grown up tater tots is one of the hors d'oeuvres, a hot crab dip. Uh, a Bloody Mary shrimp, uh, savor them for dessert, blueberry cheesecake with lemon whipped cream, uh, fresh strawberry shortcake we saw. And chocolate frangelico mousse Ooh, cake. Oh, yum. And along with that uh, uh, macadamia encrusted chicken breast. So our bars have kind of set up a little bit in the fridge. And now we're going to come. And now this is the main reason that I use the wax paper is it comes out Genius. just like that. And then all we're going to do is I usually just start by cutting in half, and then do each half in thirds. 
put them in a Ziploc baggie, and uh, you are got fuel for the road. Yes, you do. I love it. I love it. Thanks, Ken, so much. Uh, have Thank fun you. at Restaurant Week, and hopefully uh, people will go and see Ken and some of those other restaurants. Uh, he's, again, you can find him at the Clarion, the River.